去度过了一段时间。Li Qingzhi is a chef from China. He came to Japan to learn the art of Japanese cuisine, thanks to a government training program run by the Japan International Technical Cooperation Organization, or JITCO. But he didn't head to a kitchen. He shows me where he did go, the hills of Japan, where he says he was assigned hard manual labor by a private fixture-making company, clearing trash, cutting trees, and scrap metal. Lee says he was paid minimum wage and ordered to work overtime. His timesheets show in one month he worked nearly every single day, a total of 236 hours of overtime in that one month. All unpaid, he says. I was so tired and wanted to rest, says Lee. But I thought if I keep working hard, I can get what I want. When he asked to be paid for the overtime, he says his company fired him. The company hasn't responded to CNN's request for comment on the allegations. It is actually like slavery. Lila Abiko is Lee's attorney and helping him sue his Japanese employer. She says Lee's case is just one of thousands of mostly unskilled Chinese workers who come to Japan on the promise of job training and good pay under a government program that partners with private industry. In reality, it is used to used to、uh, exploit cheap labor from China. So, so there's far difference between purpose and the reality. In the case of Jiang Xiaodong from China, investigators are looking into whether his job led to his death. Jiang's attorney says the trainee died of acute heart failure. He was 31. Japan's government is investigating the case as death by overwork and expected to make a ruling soon. The United Nations Special Rapporteur on the Human Rights of Migrants says the program needs to be discontinued because, in some cases, it may amount to slavery. Lee says he is fighting his case in court, not just for his pay, but for other trainees. We should have the same rights as the Japanese, says Lee. Jitco, which operates the government program, would not speak to CNN on camera, but did send over this statement on paper and says that it is aware. That there are some problems with some companies not following the rules of the program, and says that as of July 1st, it has amended its program in hopes of offering more protection to foreign workers and preventing future problems. Kyung Law, CNN, Tokyo.